What's up, everybody, and welcome to a very special episode of Cooking with Calzones. As you guys can tell, it's not a Wednesday, but we decided to give you guys a little peek of the types of cooking we do behind the scenes when we're not live on Twitch. This week, we were incredibly, incredibly lucky to have a very generous viewer gift us some beautiful seafood from the Riviera Seafood Club out in California. For those of you who tuned into the stream on Wednesday, you saw a scale, gut, and fry a whole Thai snapper, and sear off some cod collars. What you didn't get to see was what we did with the gorgeous uni that was also included in the fishy care package. So let's get to it, guys. To make today's spaghetti pasta dish, we're gonna use 100 grams of spaghetti, extra virgin olive oil, two cloves of garlic, some dried chilies, some finely chopped parsley, three shishito peppers, about a quarter of a lemon, and of course, we can't forget the star of the show, the gorgeous and beautiful Riviera Seafood Club uni. Uni is actually sea urchin, <clears throat> and it's a very specific part of the sea urchin at that. It is the gonad, or the reproductive gland. And if it sounds weird, it probably might be if you've never had it before. But in a lot of Asian cultures, and pretty much anywhere around the world, it's considered to be an incredible delicacy to be able to consume. This is a dish that's very near and dear to my heart, um, for multiple reasons. Uh, th this dish actually came into existence when I was working at a two-man izakaya in Chicago with my good friend, Chef Jason Beliveau. And if you guys are interested in checking out Jason's Instagram, I'm gonna link it down below. Um, Jason sort of approached me and we started talking about uni, and this was really the first dish that we got to collaborate on. And I was I was incredibly honored that someone whose palate I respected and whose, whose ability in a kitchen I respected was asking my advice on a dish and asking sort of how I felt about things. And so this was really truly one of the first dishes that I got to collaborate on with a good friend who was also my chef and sell to other people. And, and it's always a surreal thing when, when people pay money to eat your food. It's one of those things that never really gets old as a chef. You know, you never, you always think about running a kitchen and putting dishes on a menu, but you never really think about the fact that people are paying money to eat something that you've created. And that's really something that never gets old. And we made a little bit of a different version. Um, in the restaurant, we made fresh tagliatelle. I'm pretty sure peas were in season, so we used some peas, but the rest of the dish is basically the same. So I'm substituting shishitos for the peas um, and keeping everything else kind of the same, except I'm using a little bit of store-bought pasta instead of fresh tagliatelle. I actually sometimes prefer store-bought pasta, especially in, in sauces that are gonna be emulsified and you want them to be silky and buttery and smooth. The extra starch that re that's released from the dry pasta allows you to get a little bit more of a silky texture within your dish, which is something that we're definitely looking for with this uni butter pasta. So we're gonna slice up these shishitos really quickly, and that's honestly the only prep that has to be done. Everything else is ready to go, and we're gonna make a really quick pan sauce involving the uni, the herbs, the chili, the garlic, and a little bit of lemon. So, choppy choppy time? I think so. So we're just gonna take our shishitos, guys, and slice them on a little bit of a bias, not too thin because we do want a little bit of crunchy textural contrast in the pasta, because the uni itself is gonna be very buttery and silky and smooth, and so we definitely want a little bit of textural difference in the dish. So I'm just gonna kind of slice it on a bias. Not too thick, but not too thin. <clears throat> and give you guys the choppy choppy I know that you love. Grab the second one. And yeah, I think you're only gonna need two out of the three here. So now that we've got our shishitos chopped, I'm gonna quarter up the lemon really quickly just to make sure that we are ready to go. This is gonna be one of those pastas that once you prepare the sauce and once the pasta is out of the water and in the pan, it's a very quick procedure from pan to plate to consumption. So you just wanna make sure that all your ingredients are ready to go so that you can kind of operate in an incredibly fluid fashion when you're making the final dish. To create the lemon squeezy that I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna cut this lemon into a quarter put it on its side and just do a diagonal cut to remove the small end of the pith and the pits. If there are any pits remaining, just feel free to use the tip of your knife to squeeze them out. And now you have a delightful little lemon quarter that has no seeds in it that you can just squeeze without any repercussions. All right guys, now that our pasta water has come to a rolling boil, we're gonna taste the water really quickly just to make sure that the salinity is where we want it to be. And as long as it tastes like the sea, you're good to go. Grab your spaghetti, drop it in the water, and always make sure the instant you drop your spaghetti in the water, you sort of bend it 
and ensure that it's completely submerged. And you'll notice that I'm cooking this pasta in a lot more water than I need. And you always want a ton of room for your pasta to sort of circulate and make sure it gets cooked evenly all the way through. Throughout the cooking process, guys, make sure that you're stirring your pasta consistently the whole time. Now that our pasta's on, it's time to make the sauce. And this is gonna be an incredibly quick pan sauce that will be finished by the time the pasta's done cooking. Step one, olive oil in the pan. We're probably gonna use about two to three tablespoons of olive oil here. Step two, two cloves of garlic and a microplane. Grate both cloves of garlic straight into the olive oil that's simmering on medium heat. Don't go too high or you're gonna burn your garlic. If you guys don't have a microplane, feel free to just chop it up very finely with a knife. There's really no harm in that. I personally like the microplane because it's just a really quick solution to chopping up garlic. After the garlic, guys, we're gonna add in our shishito peppers and we're gonna saute them with the garlic for just a quick second. Next, we're gonna add one whole dehydrated chili and a handful of chopped parsley. This is what your pinch should look like. And I'm just stirring frequently so that the garlic doesn't necessarily burn itself. I don't want the shishitos to burn, but I also want them to saute just a little bit, but you don't want them to lose their crunch. Right as everything is starting to come together, you're gonna to add about two spoons of the water from the pasta, and this is gonna stop the cooking process. This also allows us to fill the sauce base for our uni. And now for the star of the show, the uni. We're gonna use a little bit of this uni, dissolve it in the water, and sort of make a really creamy, unctuous uni-based sauce. And we're just gonna stir the uni into the simmering water. And this is gonna sort of allow the uni to disperse incredibly evenly throughout the sauce. Giving us this really nice, rich, creamy consistency. And again, we're not doing this on high heat at all. You don't necessarily wanna overcook the uni. You wanna preserve its freshness. Just heat it up enough so that it disperses evenly throughout the pasta water. And if you see that things are running dry and you can kind of scrape your spoon across the bottom of the pan, it probably means you need to add a little bit more pasta water. So don't be shy with your pasta water. Once your pasta is just shy of al dente, pull it out of the pot with your tweezers or tongs or whatever it is you choose. You don't necessarily even have to drain it. If the pasta water gets into the sauce, that's just gonna contribute even more. Add a little bit more water, just to sort of allow your uni to coat the pasta. And begin to emulsify your sauce by stirring aggressively. It's okay if there are chunks of uni in there, that's just gonna give people a little burst of flavor. Add a teensy bit more water. And I know I said this is an uni butter pasta, so we're just gonna add a little bit of butter right at the end to help emulsify the sauce perfectly. Anytime you add butter to a pasta sauce, you wanna make sure that you are doing it off the heat so that you don't break the sauce. So I'm gonna turn my heat off, add my cubes of butter. Probably three small cubes of butter is fine. And I'm just gonna stir off the heat and allow the butter to emulsify. You can tell that the sauce is, is adhering perfectly to the pasta. You've got chunks of uni, you've got uni blended in with the pasta water. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add that squeeze of lemon juice that's really just gonna give it a really bright, vibrant kick right at the end. And you don't wanna add your lemon a little too early because if you cook the acid in the lemon juice, it's going to turn bitter and acrid and you don't really want that. You're trying to provide freshness here. So squeeze the whole quarter lemon in there, finish it off with a pinch of herbs, and we can go right to plating this up, guys. It's lemony, it's salty, it's unctuous. You're gonna get a little crunch from the shishitos, a little sweetness from the peppers, and you're just gonna kind of pile the pasta right into the bowl. 
Don't be fancy with it. No need to be fancy. I'm not really twirling it. I'm not really doing anything crazy. And of course you're gonna wanna scrape all that gorgeous emulsified sauce straight onto the pasta. So grab your spoon. Don't be shy. Let it sort of drip, drizzle, coat the pasta. Do not hesitate to add a couple tongues of uni right on the top, just to give people a little bit more of that regal touch. And that's really it, guys. There you have it. An uni butter spaghetti with some shishito peppers, chili lemon, and a healthy dose of uni right back on top. If you guys enjoyed this content, please tune into our live stream every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The link is in my bio. Guys, also please follow Riviera Seafood Club. They were the people generous enough to provide all the uni that you guys saw cooked today and the seafood we used in the stream this past Wednesday. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Bye.